Grace, how you doing? Today is Friday, February 13th. How you doing? It's Field Trip Friday. Um, first of all, sorry it's so dark in here um, where I'm sitting. It's because our storm shutters are closed, because we're getting wind and rain, because the East Coast is getting more snow. My God, you guys, it'll eventually go away. Just think, you won't have snow in June. Just think of it that way. Um, but yeah, you guys are getting pummeled um, this winter, so good luck with that. Um, so yeah, so because of that, we've been getting the wind and the rain and the craziness from that. So we just closed the storm shutters the other day and we're just leaving them closed because we've been opening them and then closing them and back and forth. So now we're just leaving them. Um, but anyways, uh, what was I going to tell you? So field trip Friday. Today I'm actually taking you to a couple places I took you a couple days ago. Um, I f did my footage. I did some on Sunday because it was beautiful and I did a couple clips on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday or Thursday I think I did a clip of the ocean or something. Um, so I'm just going to kind of mishmash that all together. So it's just going to be a really odd <laughs> field trip today. Um, but there's a little bit out in dockyard. I tried to film the burn. I haven't looked back at the footage yet, so hopefully it makes sense because I just had my camera like sneaking in my purse and I was trying to like sort of film a little bit of it. So it might be a little car sick um, esque. Um, but yeah, so, and then I did this little chapel and it's, it's so cute. It's the Hayden Trust um, Chapel. It's this tiny little church that my um, other ba uh, babysitter, my other <laughs> hairdresser uh, told me about when she lived here. She used to go there all the time. And um, so I finally found it the other day and it's the cutest little church. So, and then the next day I took the kids with me or a couple days later, I took them with me to show, show them. And I had Bryn hold the camera as we were driving up. Um, to the little chapel so you can see how far it was if you were to you know come on the bus or something and walk um so we have that footage too and lately i've just been working on my bermuda crafts and i've been cutting lots and lots of drawings so the other day i made up 10 of my um paper bag mini albums and those are now at a dockyard um and these are the drawings that I do. These are all my drawings and I cut them out initially and then I have to trim around the black. So I still have to trim around the black of all these drawings. So I did um, 10 albums the other day and there's 20 drawings in each. So I did 200, cut out 200 things the other day. And now with this, with the um, houses I'm doing, I'm trying to get together like all the pieces of 16 of my houses. So that's like, I don't know, 400 and some drawings that I have to cut, something like that. Anyway, it's a lot. So last night I was getting sick of doing that. So I switched to my Project Life and I have a two page spread that I'm so excited about. It's, it turned out really cute. Um, so I'm going to show that on my craft channel. I'm hoping to work on it later this afternoon. So I will film that and I'll show you the one I did. And then I'm going to work on one like live kind of thing. Um, and then I went shopping this week and we went to, um, last Saturday I went to Ceylon, which is a little store in town and I bought this little box. It's so cute. And it swivels like that. And inside are fountain pens and well, one fountain pen and the little porcelain dish to put your ink. And then I already had a fountain pen set. So it went in there and it matches and it goes with it and it's adorable. Um, so this was $26.95 and I got it for $6.94. So I thought that was cute because the store every spring, every February, they have 75% off. They have 50 and then you just hover and you wait and then it goes to 75. So then this week the kids and I went and I bought a beret. I don't know why. Um, Annette and I had one of, we had these in, in like one in every color uh, when we were in junior high, high school. Um, and then I got this sun hat. It's a billabong sun hat. So I thought that was cute. And then I bought her, my little Valentine angel. I thought she was cute. It's like a thick canvas. It's sort of painted. She doesn't have a face, but she has wings and she has her toes painted. Um, so I thought, thought she was adorable. And then I bought this bracelet, which I thought was cute little cross on it. I just thought that was really sweet. So um, I got all those things for $24.95 altogether and considering the hat alone was $36.95, she was $24.95, this was $14.95 and my bracelet was $19.95. I think I got it a good deal. Um, so that's the shopping I did and this I'm still reading and it's stressing me out. Um, it's a good book but it's like oh my god. Um, moral conflict. Uh, it's the light between oceans. I keep saying the light between the oceans, but it's the light between oceans. Really good book. I like it. I enjoy it. 
Um, so yeah, and one more thing, shout out to Ronnie. It's my dad's fiddle teacher. He's uh, started watching my videos. So hello, Ron, how you doing? Um, so let's get going with the field trip and I'll take you to a couple different things and show you a couple different things and I'll be back at the end. All right, let's go. Oh my God, there's like 10 birds in the bird bed. <laughs> So we're out at Dockyard, and the cruise ships park over that way. That's the art gallery there, and then the craft market's in behind. The museum is over behind that wall. But in this area, there's a little splash thing there, and a playground. But in through here is a place called Snorkel Park, and... Oh, I don't think it's closed off. I can't tell if it's closed off or not, but there's a snorkel park in there, and there's also Fun Golf. Um, I don't know if I can get in there or not. Let me just park my bike for a sec. Okay, it's probably not the best time to show this to you, but, because everything's closed down. But there's a bar over there. Fun Golf is over this way. You follow the path. And then there's Snorkel Beach here, which is really cute. And they have, um, they have like paddle boards and different things that you can rent, um, out here. But, sorry, it's a little, it's like storms have come through and hasn't really been tidied up since then because it's this time of year, right? So, not much is around. But uh, anyway, there's a little beach that's really cute just past um, Dockyard that I'll show you. And I'll show you what's on the way out of Dockyard. Um, there's a few people out around here, but let me just get past uh, this section of the road. So in here is the National Museum of Bermuda, which I'm gonna bring you to someday. Um, and it has the... Uh, Commissioner's house and stuff. Over here in the Cooperage, that's where the craft market is. It's where I'm um, selling my crafts. I didn't realize they were open today. I had a couple albums I could have brought out. And there was the art gallery, and then in there is the Frog and Onion pub, and there's also a little movie theater in there. So we're just going to drive a little bit farther, and I'll show you where the cruise ships land, just down this road here. So when you come into Dockyard, this is where the ships arrive. Over there you can see Commissioner's House. It's part of the museum that I was telling you about. So we'll do that. And in behind that wall is where the um, dolphins are on Dolphin Quest. I'll show you that someday. So there's no real place out here to swim um, except for that little snorkel beach. Over there is the Clock Tower Mall. Don't think of it as a mall. Um, it's more like a cruise port mall, uh, if you know what I mean. Here's a ferry coming in. That is the best way to get to town. Um, it's so fast and so much easier than the buses, although the buses are completely spotless um, and cabs are great. Um, the guys are really nice. The, the cabs are spotless as well. Um, so yeah, it's a little marina in here. There's a place um, where you can, I think you can rent jet, rent jet skis from in here. Let me just drive over a little closer and you can see, but there's no place to actually swim in this area. So let me just take you over. I never drive holding a camera. <laughs> it's not safe. Yeah, there's a bunch of jet skis over here that you can rent. boat that goes really really fast out in the um, in the ocean there so there's seats and I assume sea belts but there's some jet skis that you can rent here's the signs here so there's parasailing and the wildcat I believe it's called and uh, oh it has a two hours long thrilling high-speed sightseeing adventure takes you around the entire coastline of Bermuda and then there's around the island in St. George's stop we'll stop out in St. George's it's three and a half hours long um, and then the adventure blast which is 75 minutes long a thrilling adventure that takes you around the western side of Bermuda so there's three different things you can do with that 
Um, and then there's jet skis, 75 minutes or two hours, which take you um, snorkeling as well. And then the parasailing, over 25,000 successful flights. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> Glad they were successful. And then there's the swim with dolphins, dolphin quest. So, all right, so like I said, I'm gonna take you back out of dockyard past those smokestack things over there. And I'm gonna show you a tiny little beach that I think is really cute. I've never been to it, but it just always looks really fun um, when I've give, gone by. And then there's also Segway tours that you can do. Uh, let's see here. 90 to, 90 to 120 minute tour, $75 per tour. And they go at 10 a.m., 12, 2, and 4. So there you go. All right. So let's go ahead to the little beach. Here come some jet skis coming in just now. And you can't just take them out on your own. You gotta go with the tour guide that knows where he's going and there's rocks and reefs and all that. So, all right, let's head out to that little beach. I'll show you what's on the way, like just past dockyard in case you're wondering. All right, it's not very exciting. Okay, hang on. This is a restaurant in here called Bonefish. So there's frog and onion, which is very popular. Then there's bonefish, but Gail and I go to this little place over here where you can see the umbrellas uh, right there in the distance. And it's a, pa it's a little pastry shop, which we really like. The sandwiches are good, um, service is good, it's clean. They have little pastries and stuff, but it's mostly sandwiches. I'll just drive by, hang on. There's a little, there's a little yogurt shop out here called Burmy Berry. Uh, the kids claim it's not as good as Yo Cherry, which is in town. Um, and I think Bryn's just a little disappointed because she can't eat at this one, cross-contamination and such. Oh my God, the kids running by. This is the little um, pastry shop that I was talking about. Yeah, we're Pastry here. shop. Just right here they have outdoor seating and I believe they have some indoor seating upstairs. And then to get over to the frog and onion park is just right through there and you walk right through to the other building. There you go. All right, then, all right. So we've kind of reached the end of Dockyard. There's the Clock Tower Mall. So this is kind of where Dockyard ends. And there's a road that goes up this way, and there is a sidewalk that goes along. Um, there's not a whole lot to see going along there. What it is is the. Uh, sorry. Over, but, um, what it is is the bus depot. Uh, where the buses are, and this place up over here is the jail. So, welcome to Bermuda. There's all our bad people. <laughs> so, I'll just drive by that and show you. Hang on. So, this is the entrance to the jail. It's the Westgate Correctional Facility. And right here is the bus depot. So, that's kind of it. Um, and then there's a bit of a road up here. the road. I don't know how much of that you could see. I was just trying to hold my camera down. And this is the, it's a Royal Naval dock, um, dockyard uh, cemetery. And I think some of these stones are quite old. I think I'm a little too afraid to go down in there by myself. I might bring the kids with me someday. But anyway, along there is where they bring you on the Segway tour. And I've seen them bring the Segways, you know, pretty far down this road a little bit. Um, that's probably the 90 minute tour, or the 120 tour, I can't remember how long it was. Um, it's, it's a little crazy because you're out here on the roads. Um, cars will pass you. Um, but um, anyway, this is the little beach area that I was talking about. So I'm just going to actually put the camera away until I get across there safely. I got a chicken looking at me. <laughs> There's a chicken crossing the road. Why? Why is he doing that? Alright, so I have no idea what this area is called, but there's a guy that comes here in the summer. The sign just says there's no camping allowed and stuff like that. Um, but there's a guy that brings like a little trailer thing and uh, he has hammocks that go on to these things, like little hammock swings and stuff. I assume there's a charge, I don't know. Um, I've never actually stopped here before. 
Um, there's a lot of seaweed right now. I'm sure they'll have that cleaned up by summer, but we just had so many storms and stuff that it kind of gets a little bit messy. But it's, it's always very calm here. I've never seen it um, too rough. And, uh, but yeah, oh, I think, what is that? There we go. I see it, and I can't zoom into it. Can't tell what that is. If it looked like a turtle, then we just saw a turtle. If not, then it's a stick. <laughs> I have no idea. But it's kind of neat in amongst the little rocks and stuff here. Like I said, it's usually pretty calm. Um, you see people picnic here and stuff. It's just small but quiet. I've seen actually some flying fish as I've driven by there before going across the water, which is really cool. Odd thing is, there's a coconut and there's no palm trees around in the area, so that's really weird. Ooh, that's quite a drop. Um, there's a table or something. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a neat little place um, to come to. It'd be cute to snorkel. Um, there's some more of those things that the swings and hammocks hang from. So like I said, I don't know if there is a charge there or not. The only thing is, there isn't um, a washroom out here. So you just go in the water, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> there's no facilities around. Um, Next place I'm going to take you is over towards that place. Um, that's Cambridge Beaches, which is a resort. And it is a private resort, uh, but there is a little beach area over there. So we're going to try and get out um, to that spot. So that's where we're heading next. I just wanted to show you this. There's a sailboat that um, during the hurricane got a little bit damaged. That's what's left of the sail, and there's another one out there. Hang on, a bus is going to go by. There's another one out there that's sunk. It's got the sails just in tatters, so that might cost a few bucks. But that was um, because of the hurricane. Coming up around this turn, I'm going to stop again, and it's the little um, town of Somerset. And there's not much here, but there is a, an English sports shop and um, a pharmacy and a little restaurant. So we'll just come up around the turn here. So there's a little, there's a little restaurant there. Um, there's this yellow building as a bank, and then the reddish building there is English sports shop. And then further down, where you can see the cars park, there is um, a little pharmacy. So I'm just on a speed bump here, trying to get out of the way. And then there's the Sandy's Boat Club over this way. So, this is Somerset. But if you're looking for Bermuda shorts when you're out here, um, they do sell them at the English Sports Shop. So, um, they do have one in town. Um, they have one in, out in St. George's. There isn't one at Dockyard, but there is one here. And it's only, we're only about a five minute drive from Dockyard. So, there you go. All right, we're gonna head over to those beaches. Like I said, that was Cambridge Beaches over there. Um, resort. This is the Cambridge Beaches Resort and Spa. I'll just drive in a little way, see how far I can get. Okay, so there's like little cottage style little places in around here. So there's a guest thing, there's a spa, um, gardens and stuff. So I'm just gonna try and get turned around and out of here. But it's a really nice, pretty spot. I believe it's adults only. Okay, this is Somerset Long Bay Park and this is something you don't see every day. A guy walking a horse and some goats. <laughs> Here's the goat running. Hey. <laughs> that is totally bizarre. That's funny. So he's walking out there with his horse and he's got some pet goats. Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay, there's a little playground in here. Let me just drive forward a little ways for you. A little playground and parking along here so you can park and then head out emergency access gate i just wonder if i can get a little ways with my scooter hang on i'll try and get out that way on the scooter without getting yelled at so there's cambridge beaches over there Don't 
dark stuff is just like long grass in the water. It's a little freaky. I don't like to touch it. <laughs> He's now taking the goats out now that he has the horse out there. <laughs> He's taking the goats. And the little baby one's jumping along. Oh my god, they're so cute. I stopped at this area. It was a spot I've always wanted to check out. It's called Hayden Drive, I believe. And here's some countryside for you. <laughs> um, the viewer that asked about countryside. This is um, a garden. Um, I have no idea what they're growing because I don't know these things. But <laughs> this is uh, what gardens look like. It's there's I don't know who exactly owns it. It's just a spot up here. But along this road, there's a little chapel at the end. It's a really old chapel. It says visitors are allowed through here during daylight hours. Uh, so my hairdresser used to come out here. And um, she's always told me about this little chapel that's out here. So we'll see if we can find it. Eight to four. So basically, the fork in the road went around the circle. There's a little cross there, and it looks over. You can see the lighthouse and the hotel are over there. Oh, it's so quiet. <laughs> I hear geese. Let's go take a look inside. A rough pavement if you want to judge it by that I don't know what else to call it that's what dad and I call it the bumpy the bumpy road show the bay so there's a little bay there <laughs> and there's Hayden Gardens is here and then it's the next Hayden Road up this way and it's called Hayden Drive and there is a bus stop uh, Okay, so there's a bus stop right here, if you're coming from Dockyard, and then it's right here on the corner. It's across from Willowbank Resort. So it says Hayden Drive, and it says the Hayden Trust Visitors Welcome Chapel this way. So you're only allowed oh up God. here, now just keep taping so people can see how long of a walk it would be. It's a long walk? It's a long walk. It would probably be better to bring scooters if you had them, but you could walk it. I mean, it's not that far. Huh. I'm just lazy. <laughs> House, uh, smooth house, a smooth road, and there's houses all around, so it's not like a creepy part of town or anything. There's a couple benches here that kind of look at nothing. <laughs> a little bit of the, well, a little bit of the harbor. Now you come up here, and there's a fork in the road. What you can do is just go left. It's just a big circle, but it's just easier. I found the other day if you just go left. This is it, it's the little chapel. How cute is that? So visitors are welcome. Between eight and four Monday to Saturday. Oh, oh. Isn't it cute? Adorable. It's yeah, no. cute. No, no, stop. Why? It's Look, there's a little crazy. cradle. Oh, Wait, what's in, the, what's in this? Mommy. What? Ah. 
sorry. What's wrong? What's in this? No, you come in, there's a guest book. Look, I signed it the other day. A guest book? Yeah, no, look. Wait, my name's not scribe. Look how many people have been in here since I've been here. Well, See? Oh, I didn't open bag? that. No, look, they've got it screwed closed. And look! <laughs> I knew you'd be scared. There's a sink, a little changing room, and look, this was like changing a... Changing room? Well, the priest would have to change behind there, I guess. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. So someone that lives nearby must take care of it. Yep. Alright, so now we're just leaving the little chapel. And I have no idea what's to the left. Um, the other day when I was here I heard geese. <laughs> oh. So just come back out to the right. And there's another little house right here, which I don't know what that is. <coughs> I don't know. Someone. Maybe the priest used it's to live there or something. I don't know. It's someone's house. And then you're back down around and here's where the fork in the road was. And then you just head back out. Hey guys, how you doing? Today is Tuesday. Uh, February 10th. I'm just on my way to the stitch and share that I go to and I realized I still had my camera in my purse So I figured hey, why not do a video? Um, so I'll bring you with me and I'll try to do a shot of um, ugh, Box on the road. Um, I'll try to do a shot of the room um, I won't videotape anybody because I don't think any of the ladies there will be comfortable with this um, they're mostly elderly ladies. Uh, Gail is my um, lace teacher and she introduced me to this group. Um, but basically we all stitch and we all share. So all it is is you go there for a few hours um, and you bring whatever you want to work on. I'm the only scrapbooker in the group so I've brought my scrapbook stuff before. Um, but today I'm just bringing my little February cottage that I've been cross stitching. Oh, I should flip the camera around. This is the prettiest spot raindrops this is the prettiest spot and the hurricane took away most of the leaves but it's the, these great big trees that go over the road and um, Kerrigan's friend Hope calls it story storybrook and um, or storybook and Kerrigan and I have been calling it storybrook because of um, once upon a time Kerrigan's watching once upon a time now and she's hooked hooked yes she thinks he's cute too. so anyway, anyway so I'm going with the stitch and share and then afterwards I have to go get some hay for the pigs and I was gonna swing by the barn. Now someone out there, I'm sorry, I forget your name right now, asked me if I could do a field trip uh, to the barn. Now, you cannot do an entire field trip to the barn. Um, it's very underwhelming. It's one room and it's books and secondhand stuff and clothes and shoes. But I will take the camera if I swing by there afterwards and I'll just give you a glimpse of the store. So, um, yeah, hold on to your hats. It's not really a, that exciting, but books are awesome. They have so many books. Here we go. I'll just turn around so you see where I am. So it's a church um, up here, and then over here is the little church hall, and that's um, that's where I'm going. All right. And then I know she was. Uh, well, it's a shame she couldn't have got somebody else. All right. So I left the stitch and share, and I'm just going to the burn. I didn't stay long at the stitch and share. It wasn't feeling it. I don't know. I just, I was working on cross stitch and I'm in more of a scrap paper, um, scrapbooking kind of mood. What did I say? Scrap paper. Um, oh, I was getting knots in my thread. I was just getting frustrated. And the kids are, Kerrigan's awake. I think she's actually been awake for a while. So, um, I just had to go by the pet store and get some hay. And now we're heading to the burn. And like I said, get too excited. Oh, 
afternoon. The day's getting away from me. <laughs> oh, they're sweet. Today is uh, Wednesday, February 11th. I just wanted to show you the ocean. It's all churned up because um, we're getting another storm tonight. So the water goes really turquoise. When it gets like this, it gets turquoise all the way out. And then you can see how it's dark. Um, it's because all the sand and everything is all churned up. There's some huge, huge waves out there. I'll show you up this way. So that's the cove that I showed you the, the other day, and this is another little area that they're working on. Um, it used to be the Senesta Hotel or something there years ago, so they're actually working on making it some sort of beach resort. But you can see all the water and waves churning up. down the coast. It's beautiful but it's dangerous. I don't know if the beaches are actually closed. They usually are when it's crazy like this, but look out there. Alright, so I'm back. I hope you liked the mishmash field trip um, Friday. A uh, little bit of everything there. Isn't a chapel the cutest thing? I just thought that was really sweet. It'd be really cute if you came here with like a few friends or something and one of them was like, you know, capable of marrying you and you just kind of snuck away and went to that little chapel and took a few pictures. It'd be adorable. Um, I assume you're allowed to do that. I have no idea. You might want to look into it <laughs> but um, before you make arrangements. But anyway, um, so the kids and I went to town today and we got Scott his birthday present can't say what it is. Um, and then I managed to get three pages done in Project Life today. I am just cruising right along with this. Um, enjoyable. I like it. So I will have that coming up on my craft channel, um, hopefully the beginning of the week. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have a good weekend. Happy Valentine's Day for tomorrow. And I'll be back with some more videos soon. All right, take care, guys. See ya.